everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist and Pirate here, and in today's fun scroll saw project video, have a nice skull designed by Steve Good to bring in the spooky season. The spooky season is officially here for 2021. You guys know Halloween is my favorite season. It goes with the whole pirate persona I have, and skulls also go with the pirate persona. You can tell I like skulls. Skulls are in my logos, they're on my cards, they're on my stickers. And I also have a lot of skull decor to go along with my pirate stuff. So this will be really, really cool to add to it. The design, as I said, is a skull by Steve Good. You can see there's the skull's face with the Black Widow up on the forehead. This is the main piece. And all the material for the skull is going to be quarter inch material. And then you're going to have one small piece of half inch material to use as the base. But then here is the backer board. that's got two little holes in it. And underneath there's a tab design that's going to hold a shelf to hold these two little electronic night lights I picked up at the dollar store so the eyes in the skull are gonna light up and give it a nice spooky vibe really really cool and then the base is gonna be the skeleton's hand and as you notice um, this is the half inch piece but as you can notice there is tab designs keep in mind with quarter inch material not all quarter inch material is exactly one quarter inch thick so take careful measurements and make sure or your tabs will not be tight when you insert them into the slots so what I've done is redrawn the cut lines on Steve's patterns to match the actual thickness of my supposed one quarter inch material. But since all the material is ready and prepped and my patterns are printed out and attached to my material and I'm ready to get Halloween started, let's head over to the drill press, draw all of our pot holes so we can come back to the scroll saw and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press, we're going to begin by drilling all of our pilot holes for internal cutting. Not many on this project. And then we're going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling. I will begin with the little shelf for the electric tea lights. And then I will cut the tabs and test fit those before moving on. And once that's done, I will proceed with all the rest of the cuts. I'm using number five reverse tooth, shark tooth, scroll saw blades. And they are cutting extremely well through the quarter inch material. This is a Steve Good design. And if you would like to try this, you can download it for free over at his website at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com over in his free pattern catalog. Just going through here and getting all the internal cutting done and taking my time with it and letting the blade do the work. Once again, Halloween is my favorite holiday and I have so many fond memories looking back on it. Now going through here and getting all of the outside cuts done which will release all the pieces from the rest of the waste wood. Staying as loyal to the cut line as I can. And cutting out the final piece here which is half inch poplar if you guys like what you're seeing I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my youtube channel and also follow me over on my instagram page at artisan pirate I really appreciate the support coming around here Finishing this cut and all the scroll work will be done and we will remove all the pieces from the waste wood and go over to scrolling with 100 grit sandpaper in the palm sander. Then we will bring the pieces back to the workbench and glue the shelf into the tabs and I'll use CA glue for this which sets up real quick. And when it dries, I will put it on a hook and spray paint this piece completely black with spray paint. And I'll let this dry outside. And once it was dry, I came back and glued the rest of the project together with CA glue and a few spring clamps. And 
and after I give it about five or six minutes to dry, I come back and remove the clamps. And then done a test fit with the little electronic tea lights. And I turned out the light to see how the eyes would look. And satisfied with that, I turned the lights back on and went outside and clear coated the project with clear gloss. And the project was complete. And here we have the completed creepy Halloween skull with skeletal hand as a base and lit up by Dollar Tree tea lights. These are electronic tea lights. I would highly recommend against not using real tea lights. I would use these much safer electronic tea lights that just have a simple on off switch on the bottom to flip them on and off when this piece is in use. They are a lot safer than the real candles and just a lot more environmentally friendly. But it came out amazing. All in all, it took me around two hours to make this because I had to wait for the paint to dry, the glue to dry and everything. But the scroll time, it took me around 15 minutes to scroll everything out as you guys see me scrolling over on the scroll saw. All the details came out great. Thank you Steve Good for these amazing designs. I really love all your patterns man and I hope you're doing well. But really, really cool. Really, really awesome. And all that is is a little quarter inch shelf on the back. This is three pieces of quarter inch material for the skull and the shelf and then just a piece of half inch material. In my case it was a little scrap piece of poplar for the skeletal pan, which is a nice added touch for the whole Halloween feel. But really, really cool. You could make these and put these out at dinner tables or event tables if you were going to have like a fall festival or a Halloween get together. Hopefully we will get to have some Halloween get togethers this year where I'm at. I'm really looking forward to dressing back up as the pirate and putting more smiles on faces and making a bunch of amazing memories. But really, really cool. Really, really awesome. I hope you guys like watching me make this. I know I had fun making it. Again, Halloween is my favorite time of year. If you're new here, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see all future updates. And also follow me on all of my social media links. They're linked down in the description box below. That's about all for this one. Remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.